10% predicted, 10% arrival, very sharp system. This is the Polestar 2 in Enschede, the Netherlands, the first site where cam power chargers have been installed by gas company Avia. Let's see. Looks good. Electric Felix reporting from Twekkeler S in Enschede from this Avia Weghorst Cam Power Station. Six satellites and one pole star. This time we only need the left side because 400 volts is enough with this vehicle. What do I mean by the left side? Well, you come in from there, so then the opposite side is on the left, and this right side is for the trucks, this charger, and that one in the middle can do 800 volts but the Polestar is a 400 volt vehicle let's check out the charging point port situation so this cam power installation is 400 volts on one side and 800 volts on the other these cables are very heavy if you're just one using one hand uh, let that be a warning if you're trying to film stuff like this let's see okay verified this one there we go ramping up to use module after module I drove just 100 kilometers per hour because in the Netherlands that's all you're allowed to now we're going to the next module so the charger is already telling me that the vehicle is limiting the charging uh, speed I wonder why because I've been driving quite a bit and arrived with 10% and we're still ramping up as you can see I can hear cooling system engaged it's about 20 degrees outside today so that should be uh, fine ah, and we're having a new peak 150 kilowatts almost 400 volts exact yes there it is so the cam power chargers like the Polestar I've already seen 151 kilowatts here at Avia Volt in Enschede a very quiet Sunday afternoon for this gorgeously looking installation small drop but not serious first 10% easy come and go very nice first drops are here still fine speed of course and small drop yet again what does it look like inside the vehicle pretty cool shows all the stats you need funny though that it says charging will be done one and a half hours from now huh that is interesting apparently at some point it will drop hugely because right now it's still doing okay Hmm, touchscreen is not responding. Now we're back. 
almost half full still 108 kilowatt speed touchscreen and my finger not real friends today so it looks like a 15 minute charge from 10 to nearly 50% color of this vehicle fits the chargers I would say what is going on with the touchscreen today so it seems we're hit we hit 16 minutes just before we hit 50 percent there we go so even now it reports it will be fully charged more than one hour from now which doesn't make a lot of sense to me now let's change it to 90 percent uh, look at that time change half an hour from now so apparently 90 to 100 percent takes an hour no yes crazy so if we change this limit to 80 percent full it will be 80 percent full in half an hour it still feels like a long stretch if I change it to 90% still half an hour am I right and so it's not changing it predicts the same time to complete the charge to 90 or 80% what about 70% uh huh 70% is just 10 minutes from now 80% ah so now it changes to 15 minutes for 80% half an hour for 90% and 240 kilometers of range predicted with this weather on the Dutch roads not bad 94 kilowatt speed at 55 56 percent quite cool these led lights <laughs> they are just on one side because the plug is on that side because these chargers can take plugs on both sides actually but they have only one installed here as you can see with the damages it's getting a bit worse but it's still manageable Let's stop at 60%. There we are. So apparently, not really intuitive to stop it, but it worked anyway. still locked I wonder if that is because I need to unlock the car charger says that the charging has finished I'm using the ah now I could hear it unlock took a long time very heavy cable hmm. that looks like a natural fit. Ta da! Let's plug this back in.
the poll star to 60% from 10% in 22 minutes. Even now, it's still running active cooling and it's only 19 degrees outside.